Hey guys, I wanted to share my experience with Walmart Online. I ordered four packs and Walmart Online is exactly like Amazon or TCG Player. It's not Walmart that's selling most of the time. I mean, sometimes it is. I bought a bookshelf and I'm almost positive Walmart was the one who shipped it. But sometimes it's a random store just like on amazon the seller is a business or an individual who has set up an account i bought four masters 25 booster packs so it's not like a huge loss not like four booster boxes but i wanted to make a video i bought these the same time i ordered glasses which is another interesting story from uh, glasses USA which is this very cheap glasses producer and I have that was before Thanksgiving that was Thursday the 23rd I have not received a package there's no shipping on either the glasses again I, I don't know why I'm throwing the glasses in the story I just maybe found it kind of interesting that um, well I guess I can compare the customer service there's no one to really call at Walmart uh, when, and when I called them and I finally got on the line with somebody, they don't know. They pretty much say, oh, okay, well, this is a third party. You should contact the third party. So I emailed them and nothing. It's fascinating. Uh, these prices are obviously much higher, sometimes up to 10 times as high as a ordinary price, even at your local game store. But the service is really poor. Uh, if they lose your order or don't track it, uh, there's no one to contact. There is nothing you can do. Be and Walmart is not really held responsible because like Amazon, it's this certain buyer. So I here's the return policy uh, of you know what you can do. And but the problem is, if there's no tracking, it's very difficult to prove that you received it or you did not receive it. Uh, the prices on a lot of these products are just incredibly high. And this is the Ami Ventures Inc., which sells the Magic Repacks for a very, what is it, $25.99, $29.99. It's not a good deal. And the majority of Magic products are actually very bad deals. So not only do you have a system where if something does get lost or something does get does not get shipped. So I ordered on November 23rd. I have not heard anything at all. And it's been a few weeks. Now I ordered from this person previously. And it came on time, like maybe a few days late from what I expected, but it wasn't so late that I had to that I really considered, oh, okay, I'm not getting my product. At this point in time, I don't think I'm going to get my glasses. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to get my magic booster packs. But the customer service is non-existent. At least in Glasses USA, there's someone, I assume, from um, a different country who picks up any time at night and then they make excuses and lie to you. But at least there's someone who you can talk to. Uh, in this case, there is no one you can talk to and a lot of these products are overpriced. They, they resemble a scam almost, especially this. 50 Magic of the Gathering cards, rares and uncommons only, no commons. And then they show a picture of a Power 9. But you can tell that they don't actually own the Power 9 because that Lotus is, I believe it's a MO, MTGO Lotus, is Magic Online Lotus. So again, one of the most dangerous things about repacks is when people use pictures that are not theirs that either tells you that they're so lazy that they wouldn't even take let's say number a they own the card and they don't want to take a picture of it that bet that's the best case scenario the likelihood of them putting the card into the pack is zero uh, case b is they don't don't own the card well Again, they're not going to put it in the pack. Case C, they own the card, they take a picture of it, and they put it in a pack, but then they there's always one pack missing. If you look at a lot of these repacks, uh, there's either not a limited amount, which means they can just continue to make bad repacks, or there's one or two packs missing. Uh, it's never 10 left. 
right? So if it was 10 left, you could buy all 10 and then you would be guaranteed the power nine, theoretically. But if they say, oh, we sold one or two, well, maybe their argument would be the one or two that we did sell, maybe to a friend or to a mom, was contained the power nine. So here we're looking at bundles at $64. The arena game at $44, which you can buy at a five below, any five below, and a hundred assorted magic rares from Star City Games. Do you believe that Star City Games? Uh, now these have limited stock. So it's fascinating because Walmart online is like the worst platform I've seen for selling or buying magic cards. And I don't know who the target is, like who would pay $137 for a Magic Core set, or who would pay $40 for a really bad Fate Reforged theme deck. Uh, these prices are out there. Um, they're not even close to being like realistic for like a buyer. But still, I mean, people are listing stuff. I guess it's good for these stores. Uh, the magic is just so out of whack and eventually when you talk about market corrections eventually you would think that somebody would come on to this like a channel fireball or a tcg player and then they would actually do a good job they would post their product and the product would be at reasonable prices i'm really surprised no one has done this yet because walmart at least in the physical walmarts they sell a ton of magic products i think they move more magic products at a walmart than they do at like any of the local game stores near me. I know that my particular Walmart is next to two local game stores and the volume that Walmart does in ter terms of turnover, mystery boxes and all this stuff, it's much higher than my local game stores I go to. Uh, to the point that one of my local game stores, uh, DNA Comics, no longer does magic at all. So there you go. Uh, I, was, I wanted to go online, buy four packs of Masters 25 and I bought this I don't I don't believe there was any sale I just bought it because I wanted to buy uh, make a video and kind of shoot what I got uh, and I never received it I never received it and there's no uh, before you guys ask you, you could do a chargeback but I've been a victim of a chargeback before so if at all I can help a chargeback is really damaging to your uh, credit and processing, uh, credit merchant account, as I found out. And yeah, so I wouldn't want to, I would give every opportunity to this person and then do the chargeback if uh, this person or business or whoever, whoever it is uh, does not respond in probably another month, I'll probably do a chargeback. Uh, you have, I believe, six months to do a chargeback. But uh, overall, a terrible experience. Like uh, the customer service experience is you calling Walmart, Walmart saying it's not us, it's this party vendor, and then you trying to contact this party third party vendor, and them not responding because there's no penalty. There's no. Um, I mean, I could leave them a bad review, but like, what would that really do when they don't have any reviews to begin with? So here we have some other. Uh, other very lucrative things six packs of dragon maze for $54 oh dragons of Tarkir uh, we have a whip of Erebos which I believe is the promo version for $17 we have dark steel booster pack 15 it is not 15 booster packs that's just the number they named it for $50 and we have a dissension deck for $61 I mean, these prices are just so unrealistic. I don't know why people post it. Um, I was looking into selling magic cards on Walmart online as well for like reasonable prices. And I think you could dominate. I mean, $73 for a Dark Ascension intro deck is not going to attract anyone. $46 for an intro pack. I mean, ugh, yikes. I sell my intro packs and they have Planeswalkers in two packs for $10 or less. Uh, this is very, very bad margins for them. So anyway, uh, my point would be that you should probably not order from Magic Online. Uh, may, uh, uh, you should not order from Walmart Online for Magic cards. I ordered two times. 
before and they were, I guess, successful, right? But this time it was just such a bad experience. Um, such a very non, I mean, even if someone said we shipped it and we don't have tracking, we apologize for that. It would be better than the dismal communication that I currently have. And Amazon, so if something bad happens to Amazon, on Amazon, Amazon will suspend the seller and then they will refund you their money, even if it means going out of park pocket. Walmart is not like that. Walmart is not like that at all. So <laughs> you got a Johnny at $45. That's on the five below too. What is it? I, I got Chandra and Nissa. I can buy as many as I want for $2.99. Uh, I might buy them out, but it's not even a good deal. It's been there forever. This is not, these Funko vin vinyl figures are not things that people uh, typically want uh, to carry, uh, mainly because they're very ugly and they're cheap. Um, so even the Walgreens, the, um, the Walgreens figures I'm buying are higher quality and they don't start out at the $19.99, $24.99 price that these did. I think they start out like 15 bucks, but the Kingdom of Hearts figures and stuff like that. So now my advice would be never buy. Um, so if you buy for like furniture or bookshelves or just anything from Walmart direct, and then you know it's Walmart that's shipping it, you'll probably be okay. You'll get tracking, you get all that good stuff on, in your emails. But if you buy from a third party vendor, you you might not get any of that. And then when you contact the third party vendor, they may not respond. And that's that's really bad. Uh, that's, I don't know. I would just conclude by saying things on Walmart online for magic cards in particular are way overpriced. It's really hard to find a reasonable deal. And on top of all that, you if the cards don't ship to you or if there is a problem there's no one to contact uh, there's no solution there is probably the only solution you have is to charge it back and as i said you know being a victim of chargebacks myself i want to give the buyer as much time or the seller as much time as possible to work it out uh, before doing a chargeback because it is very very bad for your merchant account Anyway, bye guys.